recoiling of gun recoiling of gun recoiling of a gun or recoil velocity of a gun recoil velocity of a gun in the diagram this is a gun this is a gun and the gun has the mass mg m subscript g and there is a bullet of mass mb inside the gun before firing there is a bullet inside the gun before firing mg m subscript g is the mass of the gun before firing ug was zero that means gun was at zero because ug is the initial velocity of the gun before firing and uh, the bullet inside the gun before firing was also at rest that means uh, ub will be a zero because ub is the initial velocity of the bullet inside the gun and before firing this velocity ub will be zero in the other diagram the gun fires a bullet of mass mb and the bullet will be moving in forward direction with the velocity vb and vg is the velocity final velocity of the gun v subscript g is the final velocity of the gun after firing of the bullet by the gun before firing before firing the gun and the bullet both were at rest the gun and the bullet the gun and the bullet both were at rest therefore the total linear momentum of the gun and the bullet before firing total linear momentum of the gun and the bullet before firing is given by before firing is given by total linear momentum of the gun and the bullet before firing is given by pi is equal to mg vg m subscript g v m subscript g ug plus mb ub mb ub where ug where ug and ub are the initial velocity of the gun and the bullet ug and ub are the initial velocities of the gun and the bullet we get the total initial linear momentum as equal pi uh, that will be equal to zero pi is the total initial linear momentum of the bullet and the gun and pi is zero because ug is zero and ub is zero uh, and uh, uh, the both were at rest both means the gun and the in uh, and the bullet inside the gun were at rest before firing that's why py was zero when the bullet when the bullet of mass mb when the bullet of mass mb is fired is fired from the gun when the bullet of mass mb is fired from the gun of mass capital mg in that case the bullet in that case the bullet will be moving the bullet will be moving with a velocity of vb with a velocity of vb in forward direction in a forward direction when the bullet of mass mb is fired from the gun of mass mg the bullet will be moving with a velocity vb in the forward direction therefore the total linear momentum total final linear momentum after the after the, the firing of the bullet total linear momentum or the final to, total final linear momentum of the gun and the bullet after firing is pf which is equal to mg vg plus mb vv pf is, is equal to mg vg plus mb vb which is equation 2 and pf is the total final linear momentum of the gun and the bullet after firing according to the principle of 
according to the principle of linear momentum according to the principle of conservation of linear momentum conservation of linear momentum what we can write total initial linear momentum will be equal to total final linear momentum provided no external force acts on the system pi equal to pf or comma 0 equal mgvg plus mbvb or comma mgvg equal minus mbvb therefore vg equal minus mb by mg bracket closed into vb vg is equal to minus mb by mg into vb vg is uh, the required velocity of the gun vg is equal to minus mb by mg into vb which is the required velocity of the gun required velocity of the gun after uh, the firing after the firing of bullets and negative sign indicates that if bullet moves in forward direction with velocity vb gun recoils that means gun will move with the velocity vg in backward direction in backward direction if bullet moves in forward direction with a velocity vb gun will recoil with a velocity vg in the backward direction so in the in this expression negative sign in the above equation negative sign in the above equation indicates that indicates that if indicates that if the bullet moves in forward direction if the bullet moves in forward direction with a velocity vb with a velocity v subscript b then the gun what will be the direction of motion of the gun and then the gun will the gun will the the gun will be moving with a recoil velocity vg with a velocity vg in uh, the ba backward direction in the backward direction that is that is the gun will recoil the gun recoils the gun recoils in the diagram we can explain again in the diagram we can explain again if the bullet of mass mb moves uh, with the velocity vb in forward direction then velocity of the gun vg will be minus mb by mg into vb vg is equal to minus mb by mg into vb and negative sign indicates that if vb is in forward direction vg will be in the backward direction that means gun recoils with the velocity vg gun moves in the backward direction in the diagram fx be the external force applied on the gun to neutralize the recoil motion of the gun let fx be the let fx be the external force external force exerted on the gun or applied on the gun to neutralize to neutralize the backward motion of the gun or to neutralize the recoil motion of the gun of the gun to neutralize the backward motion of the gun therefore force applied on the gun in forward direction force applied on the gun in forward direction in forward direction in forward direction is equal to minus rate of change in linear momentum of the bullets in equal rate of change in linear momentum rate of change in linear momentum of the gun in the backward direction in the backward direction it should be equal to negative rate of change in linear momentum of the gun in backward direction in the diagram fx is the force applied in the forward direction to neutralize the backward motion of the gun that means to neutralize the recoil motion of the gun therefore force applied on the gun in forward direction is fx which is minus mgvg minus mgug divided by time t where 
VG is the final velocity of the gun after firing and U subscript G that means UG was the initial velocity of the gun before firing. Therefore, Apx is equal to minus mg vg divided by t since ug is equal 0 because the gun was at rest before firing that's why initial velocity of the gun that is ug should be 0 ug is equal to 0 so Apx is equal to minus mg by t into vg minus mg by t and in place of vg we can write minus mb by mg into vb that is the final velocity of the gun finally we get the expression of external force applied on the gun in forward direction as equal mb vb divided by t fx is equal to mb vb divided by t that is the expression of force that is the expression of force acted on the gun to hold it to hold it in its position if x is equal to mb vb divided by t which is the force acted on the gun to hold the gun in its position or to neutralize the backward motion of uh, the gun and here mb vb is the linear momentum of the bullet in forward direction where t is the time t is the time during which the bullet was fired t is the time during which the bullet is fired bullet of mass mb is fired with velocity vb now we consider that the gun fires n number of bullets n number of bullets and here uh, we have denoted two bullets uh, which are fired with the same velocity vb and each bullet has the mass mb the second bullet is also uh, moving with the velocity mb now we can denote uh, n number of bullets that means uh, nth bullet or first bullet of mass mb is moving towards right or in forward direction with the velocity vb with the velocity vb this is the first bullet dot 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 uh, then n minus 1 8th bullet uh, and this should be n minus 1 8th bullet and uh, the last one will be the n -th bullet the nearest bullet to the gun is the n -th bullet now we can write force acted on the gun force acted on the gun in forward direction that is Fx force acted on the gun in forward direction is equal to minus rate of change in linear momentum minus rate of change in linear momentum of the gun of the gun in backward direction in backward direction which can be written as positive rate of change in linear momentum positive rate of change in linear momentum of n number of bullets capital n number of bullets in uh, the forward direction n number of bullets in forward direction therefore fx is equal to therefore fx is equal to capital n mb vb mb vb minus mb ub divided by t mb vb minus mb ub divided by t divided by t bracket closed where vb is the final velocity of each bullet after firing and ub was the initial velocity of the bullet before firing which is zero that means initial velocity of the bullet before firing uh, that means ub is zero therefore fx is equal to n mb vb divided by t since ub equals 0 before firing the bullet was at rest inside the gun before firing that's why ub is 0 equal n by t mb vb n by t can be written as small n so finally we get fx as equal n mb vb where 
capital in where capital in is the total number of bullets fired by the gun in time t second capital in is the number of bullets fired by the gun and small in uh, capital n is the number of bullets fired by the gun in time t and small n is equal to n by t where small n is the number of bullets number of bullets fired per unit time or per second per unit time or per second fex is equal to small n mb vb where fex is the force acted on the gun to hold the gun in its position and fex is equal to small n mb vb where small n is the number of bullets fired per second or per unit time mb is the mass of each bullet and vv is the velocity with which bullet is moving in forward direction after firing and we get fex as equal small n mb vb that is uh, the external force acted on the gun to hold the gun in its position or to neutralize the recoil motion of the gun